one. From the sports broadcasting camp, this is Sports Center. I'm Jared Connell, and my partners Brett Williams and Robbie Goldman. Chicago Cubs shortstop Starlin Castro and first baseman Brian LaHare will represent the team for the National League squad in the 83rd All-Star Game on Tuesday night. This will be Castro's second consecutive All-Star appearance. He has led the Cubs for hitting in the entire season and has become one of the most exciting defensive players in the league. LaHare is an All-Star for the first time. This season is his first in the majors after spending over 10 years in the minor leagues. Woodstock sluggers Paul Canerco and Adam Dunn will join pitcher Chris Sale on the All-Star team roster for the American League. This will be Canerco's sixth All-Star appearance and the second for Dunn, who is second in the league in home runs. Sale leads all American League starters in ERA and is an early favorite for the Cy Young Award. Hockey news, the Chicago Blackhawks agreed to terms with 31-year-old Sheldon Brookbank on a two-year contract worth $2.5 million. Brookbank had three goals, 11 assists, and was a plus 11 with the Ducks last season and can help solve the Hawks' problem areas by killing penalties. Now on to basketball. The Chicago Bulls drafted Kentucky point guard Marcus Teague with the 29th overall pick in the NBA draft. Last season as a freshman, Teague averaged 10 points and ranked second in the SEC at 4.8 assists per game while helping the Wildcats win the national championship. And finally, Bears running back Matt Forte recently stated he is unsure if or when he will report to training camp. The All-Pro back has been locked in a contract dispute with the Bears since last season. Forte will earn at least $7.7 million this year under the franchise tag, but is not the long-term contract he is seeking. That will wrap it up for SportsCenter. For my partners Brett Williams and Robbie Goldman, I'm Jared Cohen. Good night.